Today is a quick tip video. If you happen to have the horn not operating on your steering wheel, today's video is for you. Let's get started. First thing I need to do is to use the plastic pry bar to loosen the service panel here. We'll unsnap, place that aside. Now I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter hex socket and I am going to take out the two bolts that hold it in place. Make sure you use one of these that has a magnetic tip so that you don't lose the bolts. Gently pull up the hood And notice on the left hinge here, you will open it, it will snap into place, then you can let go. One thing you need to remember is to, when you want to close this, you press up slightly and then press this latch to close. Make sure you don't press up too far because that can cause a problem with the hood. And here we have a view under the hood. We have two fuse boxes right here. We have the low voltage battery fuse box and then the power unit compartment fuse box right here. And this is the power unit compartment fuse box. There are a lot of fuses here. There are different kinds of fuses. These are called J-case and these are called mini. We also have a number of relays here. A common one, if this is left out, this one is for the horn. So sometimes you may get the car delivered and it doesn't have the horn working. This relay will usually be sitting right here. Just plug it right back in and you'll have the horn. And that's about it. You just need to put the cover back on the fuse box and then close the hood and put the bolts in and the front service panel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.